Well, being diagnosed with breast cancer is a very scary thing, and on a special edition of the Bronson Health Chat this morning, we're going to focus on a patient being diagnosed with breast cancer and the treatments, as well as Bronson's breast health team that helps patients through their breast cancer journey. Dr. Micah Reschke is a breast surgeon who completed her fellowship in breast surgical oncology. She, along with Dr. Nancy Kalinowski, sees patients that have been diagnosed with breast cancer or patients who have family members with a history of breast cancer and test positive for the Burka gene. These physicians specialize in breast surgery, including biopsies, lumpectomies, and mastectomies. In the operating room, the breast surgeons work side-by-side with plastic surgeons who perform breast reconstruction surgeries. Dr. Reschke joining us this morning for our Bronson Health Chat here on WKZO. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you so much for being with us. Uh, At what point do you get involved when a patient is diagnosed or suspected of having breast cancer? Well, what naturally happens is a patient, when they're suspected of having breast cancer, they're going to go ahead and get imaging done, at which point our radiologist will proceed with a biopsy to confirm the suspicions. If the patient does have breast cancer or even if it's something that's not cancer but needs to be removed, that's when we as the breast surgeons get involved. Here in Kalamazoo, you have myself and Dr. Kalinowski, and over in Battle Creek, there's Dr. Carrie Murray. Um, From then, we kind of go ahead and take over the case, and we go ahead and perform the necessary surgery. We get the medical and the radiation oncologist on board as well. What is a breast health nurse navigator, and how do they help a patient through the breast cancer journey? So the Bronson Breast Health Nurse Navigator helps guide the patients who have been diagnosed with breast cancer through their treatment. At Bronson, we have four breast health nurse navigators that see patients in Kalamazoo and Battle Creek, but really provide assistance at all Bronson hospitals. They provide support and work with patients to understand the diagnosis and treatment options. They also help with timely access to appointments and resources. They help coordinate doctor appointments, offer education and support before and after surgery, and they help find solution to personal needs and concerns, a lot with transportation, finances, cosmetic services, nutrition, and genetic counseling. The uh, nurse navigator also helps to connect patients with follow-up treatment programs at the West Michigan Cancer Center, at Bronson Battle Creek Cancer Center, uh, as well as the American Cancer Society and other community resources. What are some of the uh, surgical techniques that are used in breast surgery? Well, there are... um, there's something that many breast surgeons are trained uh, around the country to, to provide, and that's the nipple spraying mastectomy. What that entails is that depending on your cancer, location, size, as well as the breast size, uh, sometimes we're able to preserve the nipple uh, when we're removing the breast tissue so that your final result after your reconstruction looks a little bit more natural. Um, there are a couple of other techniques that we use here at Bronson that aren't really being done at many of the surrounding hospitals. One of those is the savvy device. Um, Historically, when doing a lumpectomy, we've always used a wire that is placed in the breast the day of the surgery. Um, And this wire is kind of our visual and tactile guide. However, um, for the past several years, we've been using a savvy reflector device. And what this is is that it's a very small device about the size of a grain of rice. And it's put in the breast days, weeks, months before the surgery, and we are able to find it using radio frequency. And this allows us to schedule their surgery at a more convenient time. It allows the patient to have this procedure done at their own time and convenience. And it also helps us with guiding our measurements of how much tissue to take and um, making sure we get negative margins. Another thing that we're doing around here that many aren't are using LymphoSeq. LymphoSeq is a radio labeled dye that we use to help find the uh, sentinel lymph nodes in the breast surgery procedure. A lot of places are using a dye that has to be injected um, many hours before, even the day before their surgery. However, here in Kalamazoo Bronson, as well as over in Battle Creek, we're able to inject this dye just 30 minutes before your surgery. And that way we're able to be a little bit more convenient for the patient and have really good outcomes too. Dr. Mike Oreshke, breast surgery oncology physician at Bronson, is our guest on this morning's Bronson Health Chat on WKZO. Let's talk a bit about genetic testing. At what point should a patient consider getting tested? For patients without personal uh, breast cancer diagnosis, one thing is if they have a significant family history of breast or 
ovarian, even pancreatic or prostate cancer. If you have a lot of family members, especially young family members or members close to you in terms of generations, then you should consider seeing a genetic counselor. Another thing is if you have a history of Ashkenazi Jewish ancestry. A lot of people don't realize that this particular community have an increased risk of having one of the BRCA gene mutations, which increases their risk of developing breast cancer. If you do have a personal diagnosis of breast cancer and you're under the age of 50 years old, you should also consider meeting with a genetic counselor to talk about testing. In the meantime, what should patients do to be proactive about their breast health? The first thing is to go ahead and get your mammogram, which we recommend doing starting at the age of 40 and getting done every year. There are seven locations throughout Southwest Michigan that you can have this done. Another thing is to have our free health risk assessment with one of our nurse navigators. You can have your primary care provider uh, send a referral, or you don't need a referral at all. You can just go ahead and call 269-341-6100. And what will happen is that you'll meet with one of our nurse navigators, go over your personal family history, and what they'll do is talk to you about the risk that you have of developing breast cancer sometime in your lifetime and different things you can do to try to reduce that risk. Well, Dr. Reschke, how can our listeners find out more information on Bronson's Breast Health Services? For additional information on our breast health services, they can go to bronsonhealth.com slash breast health. If they have any other questions, they can call 269 361-6781 or email breasthealth at bronsonhg.org. Dr. Michael Reschke, breast surgery and oncology physician with Bronson, has been with us on our Bronson Health Chat for this morning here on WKZO. And I want to thank you for taking time to be with us and sharing this very important information with us. Thank you.